Hi, this is Kara Hart, and I just want to do a quick share on how I made a template um, that I use to poke holes in my journals. And uh, you guys can probably make a much more efficient and perfect template. I'm more of a wing it kind of person. But I just want to show you what my guide looks like and how I use it. So first off, I printed graph paper on cardstock. It doesn't have to be cardstock. You can just have a piece of graph paper fold it and poke the holes however you need to poke the holes. If you find that you tend to do pamphlet stitches, then use it to make a skinny one. Um, and you know, I just printed off graph paper on the cardstock on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, I have a skinny one made for when I just do signatures. That's what this one's for. And um, my graph paper happens to be a quarter inch uh, per square, which means every four squares is one inch. And so uh, it makes it very easy to just score and fold uh, right where the halfway point is and use that for your template for putting um, the holes in your signatures or in very thin books uh, where you only need one, one linear row of stitches. For instance, like this. This would have been just one hole. You can see where the holes would be at here and here and down here, right? I didn't stitch this book, um, but this person did, and so you can do it just like that. Now, in this case, um, if you're doing it Midori style, which is where you have two at the top and two at the bottom, you could still use this. You just wanna have a whole, you, you can still use your guide and only use the small one here that has one inch across, and just poke a hole at your intersections of the four points. So you could have one on this side for your Midori and one on this side. I don't know how long your Midori is, so you could just poke holes only as you need them. Focus. You can poke holes only as you need them when you're setting up your Midori. So for instance, in this case, the Midori's two stitches, or I actually do three. The Midori's three stitches right there would be up at the top and then down here is where I would have the other ones. And you don't want to be closer than half an inch to the bottom. Sometimes I like to go a full inch up, but usually it's a half an inch from the bottom where I go. So then I would poke a hole here, here, and here for my Miss Dory style just by using this simple piece um, as my template. Okay, and so you just add those three holes there. This one, I went ahead and poked a hole in all of them, but just a light hole. That way, one day when I come back, I don't have to be so precise when I want to poke my holes uh, to be bigger for when I do my stitches. So you can tell where most of my stitches fall is in this little nine cluster. Yes, I have one a little off. You guys will be more perfect than me. Probably look more like that cluster. Because when I'm doing books, like this one here looks to be about one inch. This one, my one incher wouldn't do me any good. So I need a wider band that I can measure. Now you can fold it, which is a way that works for many. You can just use it to fold and you wanna score on the line and make sure you fold proper. There you go. The width of your book, there you go. To make sure you're nice and centered and then it'll lift up for you and it'll be nice and centered. You can do it on the other side, find the width of your book or measure your book if you're smarter than me. There you go, it's uh, one and three quarter inches, which says that that would not have been a good angle to do it at because this is three quarters of an inch. Then I wanna go to, oh yeah it is. So then it's two more on this side, one and three quarters inches. I'm gonna show you real quick how you would have made a template to make this book. And no, I'm not gonna do a book for you. There's other videos for that or on other channels and such. You can see right here, this is how you do it. Now you don't want a hole right on the edge of your spine. You only want it in the middle. And you would do this from the inside of the book if there were no pages. And so in my case, I would be happy to go in a quarter inch and have one, two, three, four, up to five signatures with this particular one. Or if you only wanted to do three, you could do the three in the middle, you could choose the ones on the outside. And you can see that the way I made this template, I have little guides for myself. This is every half inch where I've done a single circle. And then it's every one full inch where I've done the double circle. And so what I mean by that 
is do you see how this double circle is one full inch away from that double circle because there's four lines. So yeah, this is the template that I've made that I can use over and over again. And it allows me to make completely different type stitches on every book. I can fold it as many times as I want to fold it. And if ever you're doing a book and you're like, I can't find that halfway point, just score it and fold this thing and make a new one whenever you need to because it's not that hard. It's just annoying to poke all the holes. So with that, I hope this helps. And uh, maybe you'll take the time to make a template for yourself and save yourself $17 from buying you know, some other product that you're going to have to store in this. Um, I can store with my all and some other supplies. So love and hugs every... Oh, one other tip that I would recommend we use. So let's say that you're using your template and you're struggling like me because I can't get anything straight to save my life. And you're struggling like me to get it straight on your holes, okay? So what I do, and I've already got this one down here, is I use washi tape on my book and this is before I even decorate it, so it doesn't matter if your washi tape rips something. So I use washi tape on my book on either side where it's perfectly lined up. And the way I know where it's perfectly lined up is I put, in this case, I measured it, how big it needed to be, okay? And then I centered it and I took all the time that I needed to measure and center and measure and center. And then I fold it in half. I make, I'm, make sure that I'm my half right here is the exact distance I need it to be, okay? So in this case, it was uh, I forget what that is. Um, what is in between a quarter and a half? Right, I don't know. So in between a quarter and a half on that side, and then, and then I'm looking at my dots that I've already made on here. Um, and it's in between a quarter and a half on that side. You don't need to fold it over on both sides because you know what half is. So I line up my half here and I put my sticker. Then I line up my half on this side using measurements and a ruler. And then I put my washi there. And then when I open it up, I know that as long as I line up the edge of my paper to the washi and the edge of my paper to this washi, that it's perfectly le level. Does that make sense? And then I can just put my dots in wherever I want to. And in this case, where I wanted my dots is I chose to put um, a marker on these little squares that I've made in the middle square. This helps me kind of eyeball it by using these squares. So I use this top line to make sure my paper is straight. This where it says top, that first line up there. And I do it to the top of the book because I never wanna be more than half an inch away from the top. I'm sorry, less than half an inch away from the top. I go down. And my first holes in this particular book, because I'm going to stitch in signatures, um, I put one, two, three in the middle of my square. Then my second holes, I put one, two, three in the middle of this square. Third hole, one, two, three, and fourth hole, one, two, three. Why? Because I felt like it. That's how I felt like doing this book. And you can choose what stitches you want to do. You can watch all kinds of videos. They'll show you all kinds of different stitches. But what this does is allows you to make your dots a quarter inch apart evenly, allows you to make it level and straight as you can on your book for those of us who can't get anything straight. And with all that, hopefully this helps you guys. Love and hugs, everyone. Bye-bye.